This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 Lava Dragons for a Visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. In this episode of On Drop Raids, we're going to head over to the most iconic six brothers of the game, the Barrows Brothers. The item we're going for in this video is the Gotham Spear, which is a 1 in 350 drop rate. This is going to be the gear I'm using for this grind, and this is the start of my collection log. Meaning if we're unlucky and we do not get the spear, we're going to end at 750 KC. Now the first thing that I got myself to do was actually level construction. I can't believe I did this, but I need 77 to boost all the way to 80 with the crystal saw to be able to buy the rejuvenation pool. And this restores special attack, run energy and prayer, which is basically going to make barrels a zero supply grind. Let's go ahead and build it. That is now the rejuvenation pool built. And if you look at my prey points right now, if I drink, that is going to go up to maximum. So the way that I'm going to be doing barrels is like this. I use a barrels tab teleport in the beginning. I start with Darok and then I go Varax, Arims, Torag, Carol, and Gothan. Of course, one of them is going to have the cave in, so I can actually not go into that one. And that is, of course, going to be the last one. I kill all of the brothers and then I use my strange lockpick to actually get right to the chest. And when I'm done with that, I've looted the chest. I will teleport to my house use the rejuvenation pool and go straight back again. I think one single run can be down to like two minutes long, so really I can go super fast. Okay, I'll take it. Elite number one, that's one in 29 drop rates, so pretty common. I'm going to be stacking them up for the end. Yo, the first item on KC number nine, very early on, so we are lucky. Gotham's helmet, 288k. Now the big question is, can we get back to back on KC number 10, the first milestone of the video? The answer is going to be... No. It turns out this video is a perfect excuse for me to actually do some really useful stuff for the account. I have never really done much diaries, as you can see, but from the Hard Mauritania diary, which I already have other requirements for, it will after that increase the runes that you get from the barrel skills by 50% which is basically the stable money that you get if you get no uniques, so let's just go ahead and do that. But before we go any further in this video, this video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. Now some examples of boxes are the flame box that includes a miniature fireplace perfect for making you and your guests feel cozy. You can even roast marshmallows over it. Or maybe you love traveling or just need a great looking and versatile bag with a weekender box. Each box of awesome has a value of about $70 in products but what you pay for it is way lower. On top of that, by clicking on my link in the description when ordering your box of awesome, you can get an additional 20% off. Also 90% of all the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Bespoke Post is perfect for those who want to find new and interesting products with a vast variety, like outdoors equipment, clothes, chocolates, or really anything. The items that will be sent to you is based on a quick quest you will fill out, but before they send the boxes out, you get a preview of what's to come. If you don't like it, you can swap it out for something else or skip it entirely. If this sounds interesting to you, click my link in the description and use Alonescape20 to get 20% off your first box of awesome to see if you like it. With that, thank you to Bespoke Post for sponsoring the video and supporting my content, and let's get back into the video. Alright, so we've now done everything up to the hard diary, except for two things. Harvest watermelons and bitter cap mushrooms in cannabis, and those take quite some time, like four hours to grow. So I guess I'm just going to be doing some barrels for four hours, and then I'll finish up the hard diary, and from that point, I get 50% more runes. Oh my, out of all the potential items, I've got two items, and both of them are Gotham helmets. No way this is happening. Three items in 28 chests, three Gotham helmets. But with that third Gotham's helm, my bitty cap mushrooms are now all grown up adults and we can now pick them and get the hard Mauritania diary completely done and get 50% more runes from now on. And let's go ahead and use all of these on agility, the worst skill in the entire game. 2.5k, 7.5k and how much is the last one? 15k, I'll take it. 
Hey, the first collection log slot unlocked Aram Staff. Not worth a lot, but 32 chests in, and finally we break the Gotham's Helm streak. You know what? I kind of just realized I only have two combat achievements left on Barrows in general, so I might as well just do them in one single run. Kill Carol using only damage dealt by special attacks. That is very easy. I just brought full Torva and Dragon Claws. And for Faithless Crypt Run, I can just kill all the six brothers without using any prayer at all. So I'm just draining my prayer down to zero now, and we should get both of them in one run. Alright, let's see if we can 2-spec Carol with Dragon Claws, full Torva, and a Salve Amulet. Let's go ahead. First one is pretty decent, and the second one is also pretty decent, but now I just need to wait, basically, for more spec, I think. Alright, we have 50 energy. Let's go ahead. Please, can I just get the last damage in here? That seems weird. Alright, just like that is completed. And I think that should be it. Let's see if we can get a unique as well on top of it. Would be very nice. And the answer is no, but we got the combat achievement. So that, I think, if we actually go and look at this now. Let's have a look at the combat achievements. And I think it should be all green now on Barrows and bosses. There we go. Barrows is now green. Oh my god, I am rich. You know what, I haven't been doing the minions for the loot potential. I'm going to try it now and see if it's actually worth it after I get 50% more runes, or if it's not really worth the time. It does take quite some extra time to get it, and we got 48k. I don't think it's worth it. I think I'll just not do it. Oh my god, about time. Uh, that was like 44 chests without getting anything. It's not worth a lot, the Carol's crossbow, but another collection log slot unlocked. It is not a Gotham's helmet, but another Gotham piece. This one is... Oh, it's only 250k. I would expect it to be worth more. But that is not the Gotham's item we're hunting for. It's the spear. Oh my god, back to back. And it's one of the best items I can get. The Arim's robe skirt. Also a collection log slot, so double win there. It's almost 3 million GP. Oh my god. That has to be because of the Tumican Shadow being so good with mage gear. A bit of a collection log update right here. We have 19 out of the 25 possible, so we need 6 more, and we have done 96 chests so far. So we still have a good amount of chances left to actually complete it, but we mostly want the Gotham Spear. No! Karen's crossbow number 2, but that is 3 back-to-backs. That is insane. If this keeps up, maybe I'll complete the log. This is chest number 100 right here, and it's been pretty good so far. I mean, a lot of collection log slots unlocked, and nothing for this one. 17k loot. The loot is right here, by the way. We're actually making a decent amount of money, and uh, we have been getting pretty lucky, I think, on uniques. And also, you can see the elite clue scrolls. I've got a lot of them. Oh, that's not even a collection log item. That's worth, like, nothing. 99k loot. Yeah, that's one of the worst items you can actually get in terms of value. Oh, another collection log item, Darox plate body. Is that 1 million? How is that worth 1 million? Wait, why is Darox so expensive? Is it because of PKers? Maybe it is. Oh, this is big. A collection log item, and on top of that, Torag, surprisingly, if I can open my collection log, Torag is one of my least collected items on Barrows. Look at this. I only had the hammers, and now I have the legs. So that is one step closer to Torag's being completed. Ooh, another Darox item. Is this also worth a lot? 1.3 million? What is making this set worth so much? Is the full set like 4 million GP or something crazy? Yo, what is going on outside of Barrows right now? Is this like a clan event that they're going to do uh, barrels together or something? Or is this like a PK in clan, like grouping up? Because it looks like they are... I mean, they're in Graceful, so it's kind of weird. But they are saying bring rags, so maybe it is a PK in clan, I don't know. Arim uh, staff number two. This is a pretty monumental chest, because this is chest number 175. And we have not seen the spear yet. 175, by the way, is the halfway point of this grind. We need 350 overall KC or the Gotham Spear, which I would love to see at this point. You know what? I probably should have done this from the beginning, but I withdrew all of the runes and the money that I've got from the chest. So you can actually see this during the entire grind instead of me banking them and having to show the loot tracker all the time. So yes, from now on, I will have all the runes and the money that I get from the chests in my inventory. Oh, that's a good one. Aram's robe skirt again. It's nearly 3 million still, but I would love to get the top now because that one is like 4.5 million or something. 
Okay, even though I took out all the runes, the blood runes and the death runes are going to be very inaccurate, I kind of realized, because the ice brawl spell that I use to freeze the brothers like this actually takes the runes from your inventory before your rune power. So that is kind of unfortunate, but at least the mind runes and chaos runes is going to be accurate. Can we get mind runes from this chest? If we do, we get 100k, and yes, we did. Uh, look at that, 100,000 mind runes obtained from only barrels, and it took 194 chests, which is uh, not that much. It is official, we're hitting another milestone here. This is chest number 200, and the loot is on the screen right now. And we have got pretty lucky with barrels items, I would say. I'm not entirely sure if we have been super lucky or not, but in Elite Clue Scrolls, I can say... Eight of them is pretty damn good, and it's going to be really fun to open them at the end of the video. Okay, Verox helmet. Uh, I think I look like a PK with this. Look at this outfit. What does this remind me of? It reminds me of like Dead Man mode outfits, kinda. Ooh, Darok plate legs. That is nearly 1 million GP, but uh, we are getting a bit closer to the end of this grind, so I'm getting a bit nervous. I'll take it. Verox helmet number two. No way did that just happen. I just got the third Gotham's piece. I have got every single Gotham's piece except for the spear at this point. Let's have a look at the collection log. Look, I've got the helmet. I have so many of them. Of course, I have the spear on the collection log, but I've not got it in this video. And we also got an elite. I'll take it. Third Aram staff. It's worth so little, man. OSRS version of a 360 no scope. Swap all the gears, turn off the prayer loot, and we get nothing. Oh, we actually got the Aram's robe top. 4.5 million GP almost. That is the most expensive Barrows item that you can actually get. So I'm really happy we actually got it. And uh, now we just need the Gotham Spear to keep all of the money. Oh my god, isn't this the most dripped out barrel setup you have ever seen? A Shaggy MF, 3rd Age Kite Shield, and Dragon Boots gilded as well. That is a, that is a nice setup. Oh my god, no way, he's an ultimate Iron Man? Okay, first off, that makes more sense, but Jesus, a 3rd age kaiju on ultimate Iron Man, that's nice. We are at this point getting very close to the end of the grind. This is chest number 300, no Gotham Spear has been in sight yet, but let's go ahead and loot the 300th chest for 700 overall KC, and no Barrows unique at all. And if you're curious, this is how my collection all currently looks. We actually only missed four items left on the log, and no spear has been gained yet, so it's looking bad for this challenge. Oh, that is... Okay, it's a lot of money, but that is not the Gotham Spear. We're getting really close to the end now, so I really want to see that Gotham Spear at this point. Well, it is definitely not looking great for me. This is chest number 340, and we have still not seen the Gotham Spear. After this, we only have 10 more chests to go. But can we get lucky on 340 and actually get the spear? The answer to that question is... No. No, unfortunately not. Oh, okay. Oh, we got a collection of item. Torax plate body. We can't have many slots left now, like three of them or something. And also an elite clue scroll. We have got so many of those. It all comes down to this. This is the final Barrows run, run 350. And we have not got the Gotham spear. So this is really all that matters. If we get this spear here, I keep everything. If not, I have to give away half of everything, including 14 elite casket loot, which also will probably be some master clue scrolls. So yeah, we are risking quite a lot if I do not end up getting the Gotham Spear on this run. The last brother we're going to be killing is dead right there. Varak has been defeated and let's run over to the chest. And see what the verdict is going to be. A 1 in 350 on this chest to win the challenge. And a massive chance to lose it. So let's go ahead and see what the last chest is going to be. And the answer is absolutely nothing. So we did lose this challenge. And this is all the loot that we got from just the barrel's chests. And we still have the elite clue scrolls to open. Wait, did I say 14 elites? I meant 15 elites. So that is the biggest elite casket opening I have done in a very long time. We have 15 out of 59, 87 overall elites. And the chances of getting a master clue from this is 1 in 5. So on drop rate, we should get 3 of them, which is pretty insane. And all the loot that we get from the clue scrolls is always going straight into the giveaway. So let's go ahead and open them. First one is 150k, 89k, some collection log items, 70k... Oh, first master. Let's go ahead and do it. That's the first master completed. Let's continue opening the elite clue scrolls and we get another ranger tunics. I actually got one of these very recently, but uh, I'll take it. That's pretty good. Already another master. 
Okay, I feel like I have to show this. Look at this. Three Ranger tunics overall from Elite Clue Scrolls. I think they all have the same rarity as well, so that's pretty wild. And the second one is completed. A bit of a change in scenery as well. Maybe we can get even luckier at this area. Let's keep on opening the Elite caskets and uh, see what we can get. Pretty decent. And we get a Mimic. That is always super nice to see. The Mimic has been defeated. Let's see what we're going to be getting from this one. This is the best chance in the entire game to get third age. So let's see if we can get lucky and get one. And the answer is no, but we get another master. We're going to have so many of these at the end. I think we all can agree that master clue skulls are extremely fun to open, but goddamn do they actually suck to complete. All right, let's continue the elites. We have seven more to go, and that is a very mediocre one, 84. Bro, how many masters, man? I get to do like masters for 20 minutes, 30 minutes each, and then I have to open two caskets and get another one. You know what, because I'm getting so many masters, I'm going to add some spice to the- Oh my goodness, I hate these steps. Anyways, I'm going to add some spice to the video. If I get a Bloodhound, I know, it's very unlikely, from the masters, I'm adding 100 million to the giveaway. So, I guess we'll see at the end what happens. The last five elites, let's go ahead and get them open. The first one is going to be pretty mediocre, 222k, 163k, no master yet. And there we go, another master. But you know what, I only have one left to go, so, you know, I'm just gonna open the last one. Can we get something good? And the answer is pretty decent. Okay, unfortunately we got a master step I actually can't do. So this is the first master I do have to drop. And I guess it's time to open the masters now. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we're going to be getting from these four masters. The fun part of actually doing masters. The opening. So let's go ahead and open the first one. First one is pretty mediocre. 372k. Mimic! Let's go ahead and do it. And we made quick work of the mimic. Let's go ahead and open the casket and get... A unique item, old demon mask. It's not really worth a lot, but uh, looks pretty nice. And the last two masters are 249k and 215k. So no bloodhound this time. And so here we are at the end of the video. And let's have a look at what the final giveaway is going to be. The amount of money I'm giving away in this video is 21 million GP. 21.1 million GP to be exact. And how you join this giveaway is on the screen right now. Good luck to all of you guys who want to participate. Again, thank you to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description and use Alonescape20 if you want 20% off your first box. This, of course, supports both me and the brand supporting my content. And I think you guys would have some awesome products to enjoy from that offer as well. But until next time, guys, take care. Before we end the video, we had a 106 million giveaway and we had 3,000 entries from the Fire Cape video that I did. So let's see who is going to be the winner. Game Master 1622. Man, what a massive grind. Still loving the series. Can't believe it's been 40 episodes already. Bad luck on Jad Pet. Maybe revisit in the future. Yeah, maybe. And here we go, this is the biggest giveaway I have actually ever done in this series, 106 million giveaway. Hope you enjoy that, and grats.